Hi, Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, let me take a look here at what we have. So where we begin in April is that there's going to be a time when you, you're going to have to defend yourself, where you're going to have to stand up for your beliefs, your actions, uh, the things that you want to accomplish, that if people question you, if people give you a hard time, here you are with your wand and you are backing off the people who are below you. And so it looks in this illustration that you have the advantage, the height advantage, and the, uh, the certainly the stern look on your face to really get your point across, which is, you know, I'm going to do my thing, and this is what I believe, and this is what I stand for. So the, uh, this card is, um, it's interesting when you look closely and you see the guy has two different boots on. And you know how we get up in the morning sometimes and we put on the wrong socks and we have to greet the day and sometimes that may be, uh, it may, evol may involve you having to justify yourself to someone either at the office or within your family. And it's never, uh, never that pleasant to do. But, you know, this is a, it's a minor arcana card. It's a part of what we go through is that sometimes we need to stand firm in our beliefs and we need to push back the naysayers and tell them what you're thinking and tell them very clearly and again with this seven of, of wands we have the king of swords and the king of swords is someone who is uh, I would say would take no prisoners he's going to be very fair he's going to make uh, sound decisions based on intellect, reasoning, and logic. It's going to leave emotion out of it, but it may come across as harsh because uh, w with his ability to communicate, you know, he's not massaging the words. So the things that this king brings, he brings clarity, but it's real clarity, which is it's a very strong message. And, you know, this blade is very sharp. When you are defending yourself and if you are having to justify yourself, what's going to help you is to stick to the facts, to stick to the pros and cons, to leave out the emotional component and just uh, state your beliefs and state them as a well-informed person who knows the details and the ins and outs. Because that's the energy that this King of Swords brings. It's really to cut through any of the nonsense, the BS. Clear decisions, clear communication, but no dilly-dallying around. You just cut right to the heart of the matter. Facts, details will help you maintain your position. So then we have, in April, you have a lot of options. You may have time where you're just daydreaming and you're thinking about what you want to do and maybe it's something that what you want to do in the summer maybe you want to travel or do other things and you know with this card there's a sense of um put that here there's a sense of uh really taking in all your different options thinking about them maybe hoping for them uh, the, the, the thing to think about with the Seven of Cups is when you get lost in your imagination, when you get lost in your daydreams, and you're unable ultimately to choose any of the options, then you're really not moving yourself along. So in April, if you're faced with uh, a multitude of things to do, a variety, and they all seem fantastic, try to whittle it down. Whittle it down to one that you're going to want to pursue, that you're going to want to take on and to narrow your focus. You know, the shadow side of the Seven of Cups is someone who is constantly lost in daydreaming and is never moving off center because they're always uh, thinking about the what-ifs. And that can be paralyzing. You know, 
imagination is a good thing and to visualize and to fantasize is a good thing because it can prod you in, in a different direction. But don't let it, uh, you know, do something with it. Do something with your options. Make a decision with one of your options. When you make the decision, here's the lovely strength card. And the strength card is awesome because it's about um, really using gentleness and compassion to, uh, to go through the obstacles in life, to, to deal with the things that are challenging, the adversity. Sometimes when we have difficult moments, particularly like the seven of, of wands, we want, you know, our, our beast side can come out, our brutal side can come out. And this is really a card of soft control, which is, looks like she's petting him and he's looking up at her and it's like taming the wild beast within. So it's really a matter of self-control that someone who can exhibit and show self-control is going to have more opportunities for success in their life. And strength is a wonderful reminder that it, it you know, no matter how difficult life can get and the challenges that we face, you have to have the faith in yourself that you are strong enough to handle it. And sometimes we don't know how strong we are until we're faced with that adversity. And there are many ways that adversity shows its face. And so it's once you're in it, then you really find out what you're, what you're made out of. But this tells you that you have what it takes to ride through the challenging times that you may or may not face. So in April, we have the lovely Temperance card. And Temperance is a card of finding balance, of finding harmony, of blending all of the elements, physical, mental, emotional, everything, into uh, a very nice equilibrium. And so it's finding the middle ground. It's not going to extremes. And these extremes can go toward your emotions of the wild swings of frustration to sadness, to joy, to having to defend. Um, you know, this is a, a card that would tell you to relax Take some time for yourself, meditate, get in touch with your spirits, listen to your intuition, go with the flow. Don't fight the problem. Just relax and restore yourself into a, the balance that works for you. So what's interesting is here with the temperance card is the three of cups. And the three of cups is a great card, which tells me that in April, you're going to have opportunities to celebrate with friends, to raise a glass, to, to talk, to chat, to catch up, to share. You know, to have the sense of community is very empowering. And there's joy in this card. There's a lot of happiness and there's abundance because you're abundant in experience and engagement and being interactive with your friends. So interestingly enough, though, when, you, when I see the Three of Cups with Temperance, there's, it's maybe balancing out that maybe you need some time with some people. That that would help you establish your harmony, your peace, your serenity, is to have some time with people. The other thing with temperance is that with your time with people is don't overdo it. Don't overindulge. Have fun, enjoy, drink up, and toast your friends, but, you know, keep it, keep it together. So in April, here we have this sense of dealing through some personnel matters of defending yourself, making yourself very clear in where you stand, backing up your reasoning and 
having a lot of options and weighing the options and dreaming about the options. And at the same time, realizing that you have a, some strength here that's going to provide for you. In April, you have a chance for some celebrations and you have it on your shoulders to get uh, some balance back, to bring some equilibrium into your picture. And this card is further complemented and supplemented by the Four of Swords, and we'll get to that in a second. With uh, this spread for April, we have the King of Wands, and the King of Wands is charismatic. He's successful. He's fun. He may be the life of the party. He may have a big personality, someone that you would notice. Uh, he, this could be of counsel to you, someone who would give you good advice, someone who would be interested in hearing your ideas. Uh, maybe listening to some of these options that you're faced with. It's uh, not someone to be, uh, someone who's not going to be, you know, w waiting forever for you to tell the story. It's like, get in and he'll give you his opinion and then he's moving on because he's got a lot on his plate. He's able to balance work, family, everything, businesses very successfully. And when we see the King of Wands, we see action, your personal power, get out there and do something and, and jump into it. So I, I find it interesting because here we have this sense where we're kind of, we need the rest, but we're, we need some social time too. We need to get with the plan, make the plan, act, move forward. And at the same time, Again, the idea of rest and recovery comes into play. So whether the events of, of 2018 have led you to have a, an exhausting time, April is telling you to find your equilibrium and to uh, take yourself out of a situation so that you can recharge, energize, catch your breath, restore yourself, doesn't mean that a situation is going to disappear, but you may be going back with a new perspective, a new approach, and that might be very helpful. So we're looking at an idea here of middle ground, not going to extremes, making sure you catch up on your rest, getting out there and socializing to balance these things out, um, doing some self-work and understanding that you have the strength and whatever is necessary to ride you through people who may not be supporting you. And what comes to mind is drop the hammer, drop the, uh, the sword here. Clear out the people that don't serve you and the people that are giving you a hard time. Maybe you need to cut them clean and say ciao, bye-bye. Um, but you're going to speak your truth here. You're going to be informed. You're going to have the details. There's going to be no getting around the facts and the reasoning for whatever it is that you feel that you have to defend yourself. So Pisces, this is what I see for you. So let me take a look at what we don't have. We don't have pentacles. So the grounded common sense, slow moving energy of the pentacles is uh, simply not showing up this month for you, but that's okay. Let's get a little more information for love. Purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. So, where does the love come from? The love comes from love for yourself with strength and love for your friends and your community that supports you. So purpose, you find your purpose. I think those are really, it's important to have your purpose and the King of Wands can point you in the right direction for purpose. And finally, for 
a, a meditation point or a practice area for the month. Let's pull one more Oracle card. Spiritual Law of Attraction. So we've all heard the Law of Attraction, that what you put out, like attracts like. And so if you just sit and think about that for a moment, if when you put out the energy um, that reflects you best, you're going to come into contact with similar ener energy perhaps. But the spiritual law of attraction is, you know, uh, I have faith in it. I think that it is valid. I think that it's true. And I think it's a sense of uh, really visualizing and believing and putting yourself in the position to attract uh, the abundance and the happiness and the joy or whatever it else that you're seeking. And to be quite frank here, when I when I see the law of attraction, you know, many people think of the, the DVD, The Secret. And it was like, well, I want to attract a, a necklace or I want to attract a new bike or something. And it's, uh, to me, it's more of the message of the law of attraction, the things that you can't buy. True friendships, true connections, uh, experiences that are one of a kind in your life that are memorable building your memories, building a happy place, however that may be. So this is what I see for you in April, Pisces. I hope that you found something helpful here. And if you did, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, then please consider subscribing. It's a great way to show support. And it's um, very encouraging. So I thank you. And I certainly thank you for your time in watching this video and I appreciate it and I hope that you'll come back again. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.